Hi, my name's Andrew. I've been doing ammunition testing over at my own channel, The Chopping Block, for quite some time now, but I'm really excited to join the TFB TV team. We're going to start a series on defensive pistol ammunition. We're going to test it in gel and we're going to talk a little bit about what sort of results we're looking for, what you want in defensive pistol ammunition, and how to interpret gel test results, all that sort of thing. We're going to examine a variety of different types of bullet weights, calibers, barrel lengths. And we're going to identify some of the better choices for defense ammunition and some of the not so good choices. What we're going to look at today is Magtech 9mm 147 grain bonded jacketed hollow point. We're going to fire it out of a Glock Model 22 with a Lone Wolf distributing 9mm conversion barrel. We're going to shoot into bear gel and we're also going to shoot through four layers of denim simulating heavy clothing into the same clear gel block. This is a kind of exciting load because Magtech is known for their sort of budget offerings, but it's a bonded jacket at a hollow point, which as you may know, tends to perform better. A bonded bullet means that the lead core is chemically bonded to the copper jacket, which prevents jacket separation and tends to lead to higher weight retention, more uniform expansion. It also usually performs better through barriers. So this is a pretty exciting load and it's fairly affordably priced. Okay, so you can see that there was a variety of penetration depths here. Very inconsistent. This one that stayed in the block penetrated to 12.4 inches. The expansion looks pretty consistent. But two of them stopped in the second water jug. And this one stopped in the block. And that's a dramatic difference in penetration. Here you can see about two inches of bounce back from the point of deepest penetration. Looks like they're trying real hard to look like a gold dot here. <laughs> you can see the base of these bullets. It's open. This bullet is from the previous test with bear gel shooting in the opposite direction. You can see a fair amount of denim deposited in here. It looks like a couple of these did manage to start opening up part way through. The track gets a little bit wider and you can see that it starts dumping some of the denim that was clogging the hollow point. Unfortunately, every one of them went through every one of these chugs, no bullets were recovered. That is way too much penetration and more importantly, no expansion. Might as well be full metal jacket. Okay, so what did we find out other than, of course, bullets can poke holes in goo? Well, to begin with, we found that this particular load does not do well with heavy clothing. None of the bullets fired through the four layers of denim managed to expand, which meant that they had grossly exaggerated penetration and, of course, a smaller crush cavity. At pistol velocities, the temporary stretch cavity, that's the region that, of tissue that gets pushed to the side, isn't large enough to induce any real tearing. So the only substantive wounding mechanism from a pistol bullet is its ability to directly crush and tear tissue. The wider the bullet is, the wider a path that it can crush and tear. And that's why expanding ammunition is really important for pistol rounds. If it doesn't expand, it leaves a pretty small hole. Still ruin a person's day, but it's not ideal. Now, of course, in the bear gel, the bullets did expand 
and they did so very uniformly. The weight retention was excellent. The uniformity of expansion was nearly perfect. Looked like something out of a catalog, frankly. But the penetration was a little varied. There was a significant difference between the low end and the high end of the penetration. It's not a deal breaker because in all cases they fell within the range that they're supposed to be at, but we typically see much more consistent penetration depths out of bonded jacketed hollow points from other makers, say the Spear Gold Dot, for example. Uh, technically a plated bullet, I know, but it falls into the same category. All in all, this isn't a terrible load, but it's far from the best load for defense. Maybe not a bad idea to buy a bunch for a rainy day because it does have a great price. Maybe not a bad idea for suppressed pest control. 147 grain is subsonic and critters tend not to wear heavy clothing, so it ought to work pretty well for that. Otherwise, I'd have a hard time recommending it. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment below, and I'd really like to hear your suggestions on what other types of ammunition you'd like to see us test, and calibers, barrel lengths, brands, all of that sort of stuff. We'd love to hear it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. <laughs>